All right, I'm here uh, replacing these rear hangers for my uh, trailer axle. This is uh, it's a tandem axle with slipper springs. They're 8,000 pounds. You can see right here, there's supposed to be a pipe welded in. I'll get it at a better angle for the spring to to ride on. It slips back and forth. I got a new one here. This right here. So the spring sits under here and rides on this. Well, I guess it wore it out to the point that there's basically nothing left, just the just the top part. So I'm gonna cut it here, cut it here on the inside and bang it off and weld the new ones on. It's kind of surprised that it weld uh, that it wore through this. But I mean the trailer does have a decent amount of miles on it. It's like uh that's probably like 75,000. It's only five years old though, but it, it got used a lot. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm also looking the bushings in here. There's some play in that spring, so I might pull that out and put some bushings on there. The whole reason we pulled the tires off was to adjust the brakes and address a little bit of rust that we were getting. Uh, it turned into a bigger project. I'm gonna put them on and we wire wheeled this once and Threw some uh, rust reformer on there, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a better job. Probably hit it with the flap disc, and then uh, I'm gonna use that rust oleum oil based uh, paint. It's the industrial stuff. It's pretty heavy duty. I used it once before, not on a not on a trailer, but on some other steel that's outside, and it seemed to hold up pretty good. I'm gonna put it on here and see see how it goes. But I'll, I'll do another video when I get the, these knocked off and the old, the new ones tacked up. Yeah, you see, I, I lowered the axle down so I had some room to work, and I couldn't get couldn't get the old bolt out. It was seized in there. So first, I grind it off the head and try to knock it through with a punch, but it wouldn't move. You see, uh, grind it both sides, but it was seized in there pretty good. So I. Just notched it out to get it out. I just wanted to get the axle out of the way before I start really start messing with this hanger, trying to get it off. Because it's going to take a little bit of convincing to come off. Because you got to be real careful not to not to cut the frame. I don't want to cut any of the, that steel or, or this C channel. I just want to cut the weld and and this. But all right, all right. So I got both of the hangers off. This one and then the one down on that side. Uh, I got it cleaned up pretty good. Probably hit it with the wheel one more time. Um, I grinded them and had to use the good old persuader to get them off. I probably could have used the uh, plasma cutter, but I was trying my best not to uh, mess mess with you know the main metal here the main steel um and i'm not that precise with the plasma cutter i mean i've used it but i'm by far a professional so i went with the grinding method and it didn't take that long i probably spent an hour and a half getting them off and getting this cleaned up um and now since it's not raining yet i'm going to go ahead and get these welded on get them tacked up you know, get them about where they need to go get it tacked and then I'll do a dry fit make sure the uh, the axles will lift back in there I'll just jack it up and as long as they both fit in that the hangers on each side it'll be good to go and I'll fully weld it it's gonna get you know I'm gonna the main weld all the way around here here across the front Backside and down. Maybe I'll weld it down here too. And then uh, I'll tackle everything else another day. But I'll do another video after I get them welded on. All right, got the hangers welded up all the way around. Just in the nick of time too, because it just started drizzling. I'm not in the shop, I'm in the driveway, so I have my welder out here and everything. 
but I tested them. The springs go right in. I'm going to throw some primer on it. Take it around, show you the other side real quick. Still got to clean this one up a little bit, but had a little bit of a, a little excess right there, but it's good. I'm not trying to win any awards. I just want it to stay on there. All right, got it all back together. This uh, lime green was the only primer I had, uh, but it'll do. Tomorrow I'll hit it with a top coat of black and it'll be fine. But it's sitting nice. They have a little bit of movement in here. It's able to, you know, ride up and down. A little bit of space on each side, you can see. Right there. The same deal down on that side. So, the only thing left, oh, and I adjusted the brake. It was pretty easy. Well, it's not that easy, but you pull this cap. You take the nut out, and take this whole drum off. You're gonna the wheel bearing is gonna come out of this side. Then there's a spring on the bottom that has an adjuster. You're supposed to be able to do it from the back. There's a little hole in the back of this this plate, but um, it's a pain in the ass to get to. Um, and it had they weren't adjusted in a long time, so the adjuster was pretty pretty seized. I had to spray it with some WD-40, and then uh. Put it in the vise and get it with a pair of pliers to get it to turn so there's no way i was going to be able to adjust it with a screwdriver through that little ass hole but i'm glad i got this taken care of i'll be able to put the wheels on it and get it back on the road till next time